All right, so I'm gonna build the four to one ballon that I've seen on YouTube and here's here are my parts. So I've got uh, actually three types of wire I've picked up. I only need two because it's a bifilar two wire ballon. Uh, I've got some bits and pieces and this little guy right here. So I picked this up at Home Depot. You can get, see, you can get five feet of it for two and a half bucks and I just cut the end off so that's all nice and clean. Um, so that's what I'm going to use for the ballon and this is my container for it. Um, the salmon oil, not too, uh, not too uh, efficient but that's all I have so I'm just going to MacGyver that. So I'm going to go ahead and start this and, um, and check in in a few minutes. Okay so there's my two wires wound around that little piece. It's about 12 turns of each one. You just have to make sure that they're not overlapping, like this guy's overlapping a bit. So I'm just going to tighten this up. Oops, <laughs> just going to tighten this up and then move on to the next step. Right, so what I did here was, um, you might be able to see it. I drilled a couple of holes on each end there and then there as well. Might have to fix that one. Um, which just helps to hold the wire and keep it taut and so it turns out quite nice. Alright, so this is what I've got here. So this is the way it works. The bottom of one attaches to the end of the other, the top part, right there. And this is going to be grounded, so it's going to go to the shield of the coax and it's also going to attach to the counterpoise of the vertical antenna. Here it's the opposite. The top of the red one here attaches to the bottom of the white, so it's the reverse of that one, and this is going to attach then to the radiating element on the vertical as well as to the center of the coax. Okay, so center coax radiating vertical, shield of the coax, off to the counterpoise. Alright, so just want to show you where I'm at. So this is going to be my ground side. That's going to go to the shield of the coax. And this, so I've just put a little connector on there, is going to go to the um, counterpoise terminal. And then on this side it's just the opposite, so this is going to the center of the coax, and this is going to the part of the antenna that goes up the pole, basically. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, see I've drilled a couple of holes in my lid to my little jar, so I'm going to mount these two, these two connectors onto the top of my lid. All right, so now you see it there. So this will go to my counterpoise. I'll connect that there. And the antenna wire itself, the one going up the, the pole, is going to attach there. And then all of this will fit inside my salmon oil jar. Come saw. It'll be like that. Now, on the bottom here, I'm now going to, if I can find the right nuts and bolts, I'm going to mount this guy on here. SO239, plug right in there, and that's going to be my feed line to the radio. So that's the next step.
Okay, so, um, so I thought I'd better, hang on a sec, where am I looking here? I thought I'd better uh, show you what, um, what I, what I did. So this is me, right? So, uh, this, this was the, um, container I was going to use for my ballon. And I screwed a couple holes in the top. Those would be my taps. One, one to hook to the uh, vertical part of the antenna, the other to hook to the counterpoise. And then here, I would put my, um, hang on a sec, my SO239 connector, and that would go to my feed line. Um, here's the problem. <laughs> the connector should attach to this guy so that I can actually screw it in and bolt or bolt it on so that I don't lose it. Otherwise, how the heck am I going to get my fingers into this thing to um, to, f to fasten the connector to the bottle? So I did it. I did it backwards. So the SO239 needs to go on the lid, and the taps go on the bottom of that. Fortunately, so I looked at a couple of different things. I looked at an old dry can of paint, uh, but it's not quite um, tall enough. For the balance so i got this thing here <coughs> this guy found another jar and now i'm going to do it right so239 on the top taps on the bottom and i'll be good to go so that's what i'm working on today thing to do of course now that this fits well, that's going to be nice and clean I'm going to screw or drill little holes in here for the screws to hold that to the um, to the lid and one of these screws is going to be a bit longer than the others um, and that's what I'm where I'm going to tap my ground connection from the ballon right to here so that's the next thing to do Next step, so you can see now, I screwed the uh, SO239 onto the top. Now I've got it in the right way, <laughs> and just screwed it on the back. So there's there's the one going to the uh, vertical part. There's my ground, is the white wire there, and I've just put it on another screw, soldered them in place to hold them, get a good electrical connection. Hopefully, now we're in business. So the other thing now is I've got my jar again. You may not be able to see this, but of course it's the, the lid screws on the top. And that's no good because if I'm screwing on if I'm screwing on my ballon lid, then all my wires are gonna get twisted inside and I don't want that. So I'm just gonna take a saw and cut um, the grooves off so that the cap will actually sit on it and then I'm going to tape the crap out of it to hold it all together. It does. It sits 
Well, yep, sits on there pretty nicely. I'll snug it in there. Uh, when I'm finished, I just need to snug that up a bit. So, almost done. Next thing now is to drill two holes in there so I can bring my taps out. So, after all that anyway, I needed to cut the bottom off, you see, so that I could get my fingers in and get those screws through to the outside. So I've labeled these two. Of course, that would be another thing I'd do is wrap it all up and forget which one is which. Um, there's my... hang on a sec. <laughs> um, there's my antenna one. There's my ground one for the counterpoise. So now I'm just going to tape the whole thing up, put the lid on, tape it all around with electrical tape, and then we're done. Yeah, okay, so I just put that back on, put some electrical tape around it. There's my antenna, there's my counterpoise, the ground. Got the lid now snapped into place. It's actually quite snug there, it's really nice. No twisting, no anything. This ballon is all ready to go. It's not waterproofed, of course. I may do that at some point, but for the purposes of camping, this is just fine. We'll, we'll see how it all works. Anyway, next step is to build the fishing pole vertical. 